Hello guys, welcome to our first tutorial on adjects. And today I'm going to teach you how to make simple adjects live search bars. So, let's begin. I should remind you that I have already created a database table with some dummy data in it that we are searching right now. So, let's begin. First of all, I have already added the jQuery CMD. Most important. Now let's remove the whole C whole HTML and PHP. No traces. Okay, we are done. A nice canvas to work on. Let's begin. First, we're gonna create an input element with class. Sorry. ID search and type text then after we're gonna create a div element with ID results because this div will show each result that we are gonna receive from the server after the adject requested now let's start scripting so script we're gonna do jquery now so first we're gonna do is we're gonna bind an event to the input element that somebody gonna type it and we're gonna trigger a function on that so search on input a function Okay, now we we'll create a function that's gonna be triggered when somebody types anything into the input. Now, what we are gonna do is we gonna get the value from the input. Yes, we're gonna read it later and we're gonna need it in the conditional and in the app in the adjects too. So, dollar search is equals to dollar hash search dot well brackets. Okay, now we are getting the value. Now, if conditional, we're gonna say that we need a string of definite length so that we can perform an adject request. So, if search dot length greater than zero we need something in the text box so let's go greater than zero now let's perform an adjex dollar not get name of the file that we're going to request that is rest.php over here then the data we are going to send to the server we are naming it search and we're gonna add the value that is dollar search variable now function that will perform when we have successfully got the request and the results from the server so the first parameter of the function will be data and now let's when we have did all that now we need to put the data into the results div so dollar results dot html and the data dollar data now our scripting is over now let's move to the php as you can see it's really simple javascript nothing more let's add some text into the div into the input element so now let's check that we are we have written this correct code the correct javascript for it so print r and get the super global okay let's print let's add something into the text box as you can see whatever i'm typing in the text box is appearing as an array in the search 
as appearing is as an array. Now let's remove it and write some codes. The PHP one. First, we are going to create a connection to the database. We are going to use object oriented style of MySQL. So, new MySQLi name localhost username root. We don't have any password and touch the name of the database. Now, let's create a query and query select name name of the column from a table is named names we're gonna add a conditional over here that's where names name of the column again like a pattern we're gonna match a pattern like quotes and that is and dollar underscore get search in the in the square brackets and with the person sign at last it will match the pattern you can put on both sides too that doesn't matter now we're gonna execute the query and dollar con query dollar query now let's assign a variable to it so dollar data is equal to con query now data variable is storing the mysql return object now let's get the data out of the return object so while loop result and result is equal to and dollar data fetch a sock a s s o c it will return as the associative array now we're gonna echo the whole data so echo dollar result and square brackets search and a beer at last break tag now we are done let's try it as you can see it's working it's really simple easy nice and interesting i hope you liked my tutorial more awesome is on the way we are gonna launch the site soon and if you haven't subscribed me yet just hit the subscribe button because more awesome things are on the way thanks for watching my videos once again i hope you liked it just give it a thumbs up.